a hearty welcome to the channel today's video is based upon the concept called biasing and stabilization in the basic electronics it is purely based upon the concept of transistor biasing and we know the basic function of the so called transistor in any of the applications of electronics is the purpose of amplification now the process of raising the strength of weak signal without any change in its general shape is referred as faithful amplification based upon this there are type there are different types of constants we have to discuss here but the biasing stabilization concept here in this video is carried out in a very simplistic way such that even the beginners can understand what is going on in the concepts called biasing and stabilization let us go to the point now very first the definition it is actually a process of applying the external dc voltages of a correct amount of polarity and a good magnitude to the two junctions of the transistor such that the operation of transistor is always carried out in the desired region or desired zone this is known as the biasing of the transistor since the involvement of dc voltages is here it is also referred as dc biasing let us come to the points to be remembered here while discussing about the biasing very first thing dc operating point now here we have to apply the dc voltages that is bias establishes a fixed level of current and voltage now for the purpose of transistor amplifiers the resulting dc current and voltage establishes an operating point on characteristics which are defined the region that will be employed for amplification of the applied signal since as we said the definition here the operating point is a fixed point on characteristics it is also called as q point or q cent point now let us have a small discussion on need for the bias very first point as we discussed already for the operation of transistor in the desired region and also the dc sources which are supplying the power to transistor circuit to get the output signal power greater than that of the input signal power it has to be satisfied if the transistor is not biased properly come to the point of need for biasing if the transistor is not biased properly there are chances that it might work inefficiently and this might result in various distortions in the outcomes that is results or output signals whatever we get as a result next point the biasing stabilization here care must be taken such that operating point does not shift to cut off means while we are designing a biasing circuit the care should be such that the operating point shall not shift to the undesirable zone or region in general words we call them as cut off or saturation regions and here the most important thing we have to discuss is the stability factor now the stability factor is actually a measure of stability provided by the biasing circuit now this particular stability indicates the degree of change in operating point due to variation in temperature okay it depends upon different 
variables of temperature of stability factors. Ideally, stability factor should be perfectly zero to keep the operating point stable. Practically, stability factor should have the value as minimum as possible. Ideally, it should it must be zero, but ideally, practically, it is not possible such that as minimum as possible is required. Next point, types of biasing circuits. Very first one is fixed bias with and without emitter resistor, all those things. Actually, fixed bias circuit, it is a, a simple to shift the operating point anywhere in the active region by merely changing the base resistor. When you put the base resistor, it RB given as in the picture there, we can easily change that one such that we can shift the operating point anywhere. And the main advantage of this type of biasing circuits is a very small number of components are required. Next thing here it is connected to base bias circuit. Actually, it is an implement over a fixed bias methods. In this, actually, the biasing resistors is connected between collector and base, between collector and base of the transistor to produce or to provide a particular feedback path. That is the simple definition of collector to base bias circuit. And the last but not the least, voltage divider or self bias circuit. It is one of the best ways the biasing is carried out as the emitter of the transistor is forward biased by the voltage drop across the resistors. Okay, and you can see in the voltage divider or another name we call it as self bias here for voltage divider circuit. It is purely, you can see the R1 and R2, they are dividing it into two parts, two ops. In simple words, it is called as voltage divider bias circuit or self bias circuit. And the most preferred or most widely used transistor biasing method. As the emitter diode of the transistor is forward biased by the voltage drop across the resistor here. This is the these are the important points of biasing and stability or biasing and stabilization we have to remember across. Hope this video has been very simple for all of you and hope this has helped you to gain the basic knowledge and I request each and every one to go through all the videos of our channel and these are provided as per the needs of academic, research, scientific, technological and technical aspects and updates that are happening around the world and they have been framed in like playlists and i request all of you to subscribe and share this channel to whomever it is needed or required and also we request you to provide valuable positive suggestions and positive feedbacks on our videos such that we can improve our content further thank you one and all